Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to convert any of your video into 3D model for your Blender 3D modeling and animation software. You can see at the left hand side, this is just a video that I capture outside of my house. And then I make this video to become a 3D model. I convert this video to make it as a 3D model and now it's already in my Blender 4.1 which this 3D model is already ready for you to create any of the 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing project. Now you can see all of these mesh are quite clear and just look at the mesh, look at the texture and material. Everything exactly same as what I have shown you in this original video. How to make this? I'm going to show you the step by step. Start from now. The first step, what you need to do is just to record a video. You can see I already recorded an MP4 video. And let's have a look. For any of the video that you capture, you need to make sure that you capture every details of your target. Let's say if this grass is your target, you need to just go through a few rounds, take every details from different angle, record everything into your video. This is the first step just to make sure it go as detailed as possible. So now you can see all of the details I already taken in the video and the next step, what you need to do is just separate this video into image sequences. To make this video to become image sequences, you need to use a software like a video editing software, for example, the Adobe Premiere Pro. Right. This is one of the software that you can use to just convert your video MP4 to image sequences. So now I'm going to I'm going to just create a new project on my desktop and I'm going to name this as image sequence. All right. Now this is a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro. So next step is just import your, your MP4 into here. Then drag it to media. Then you can see your video already imported. Next step, we are going to export as image sequences in 10 FPS. So now I just create a new folder on my desktop name it as image sequence then i click file export media the format choose jpg the jpeg then just scroll down but before that you need to fix the locations just click the output to choose the locations it will be on my desktop image sequence folder then click save next time the next step just check it here scroll down the frame rate and tick it so that you can customize we don't want 29.97 fps we just want a very simple just 5 fps is enough we don't want too many pictures of the image sequence so now you can just open your image sequence folder then you click export and just wait for about one minute you, you can see it already exported as the image sequences all right it is almost finished and done once done already you can just close your Adobe Premiere Pro this is just use any of the video editing software just to get the image sequence all right now i close it actually no need to save now we can see 
the image sequences are here. This is a 5 FPS image sequences which you can see from every picture. Now you can see. So next we are going to make this image sequences be useful to generate the 3D model. We need to have another software. The software name is Adobe Substance 3D Sampler. Alright, just open it. This is one of a photogrammetry software which you can convert these image sequences, video image sequences into a 3D model. So once you open already, you can just close this. Then click create new. Now you can see create new, you just click plus 3D capture. Then we are going to import the image sequences into here. Just open your image sequences. It is on, on my desktop here, image sequences. I just click one of it and press Ctrl A to select or drag and drop into here. And now it is importing it into the 3D capture here. So we are going to wait for this. Number of photos, you can just check it. It is totally about 361 pictures over here. So as, as long as you see the number already reached 361, then you can just click submit then click process at this moment you need to just wait for a while until it go to 100 percent it may take about five minutes or two minutes it is it depends on your computers gpu and cpu the power of your CPU and GPU. We can just check the task manager. Just check the performance. Now you can see the CPU is running up to 100%. At the same time, the GPU is running the, the 3D and also the video encodes. It takes already more than 50% of utilizing in your GPU. So now it already up to half, you can just keep on wait until it finish. Alright, now you can see it almost finished and then at here you can just maximize it. For this time you can see actually your plant is at here and all of these are your camera. This software it automatic will 
you will know that where is your camera. And the 3D model that you want actually is at here. So just click show the bounding box and we are going to drag it. We just focus at here. Focus on the 3D model that you want and we can ignore other, other point clouds. Here, just drag it down. Okay, adjust a little bit. All right. Once done already, you can just click submit. It is going to generate the 3D model for you. For all of these point clouds, just to make sure you capture it in in the bounding box, All right? The rest you can ignore, then just submit it. Now, the 3D capture is generates your 3D mesh. Just wait for a while until it finish. Now, it already finished, we can just check this 3D model and this 3D model is ready for you to export. You can just click add to project. Then, just name this 3D mesh. I'm going to name this as grass01. Alright, then I click OK. It is going to add it into the Adobe Substance 3D sampler. Alright. At this moment, you can export it as 3D model. If you want to export it, you can just click File, Export. Then, the mesh setting, you can just set it. This is the folder. You can just, just create a new folder here. I'm, I'm going to name this as Grass01. Then I copy this location, Control C to copy. Then I put it here, Control V to paste it here. Next, the material setting. This is the general setting. Then the mesh setting, the format, choose the FBX, the best format. Then the material setting, the format, just change it to PNG. All right. So now you can just click export. Once you export it, it really become an FBX file at here. Now we are going to import into Blender. Now I'm going to open Blender. Blender 4.1. Then I press A and press delete to delete everything. Then click file, import FBX from my desktop, grass 01, the FBX. Double click. You can see this 3D model already imported into Blender. Just click here to turn on the texture. At the same time, you can see there are some specular, the, the material, light reflections. Just go to the material, the metallic, just make it zero the roughness the roughness you can just make it once then you already can have this 3d model for your 3d modeling 3d animations and 3d game developing project and of course you can just crop the floor if you just want to have this 3d model just go to the edit modes then you can just delete the rest just for example go to the edit modes then Click here, click to just show the, the mesh and then click select and press delete button to delete all of the vertices, delete all of the vertices then back to the object mode, turn here on. Now you can see you you already have this 3D model, right? If without deleting the floor, 
it's okay it's up to you and once you delete it because it is going to delete some of the related vertices you have to use your 3d modeling skill to repair the 3d model like this you need to repair it if you want or if you just put it deep into the floor to hide it then it is okay and this 3d model is already here if i control z to undo everything everything is still here and quite nice to look as well back to the object modes all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to convert any of the video the mp4 video into a 3d model for your blender 4.1 and you can just import it into your 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing project and this is a really easy way to just convert the, any of your video into 3d model all right that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!